Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Dota 2 game. This time it's a ranked match and I'm gonna be playing a hero that I haven't showed it yet but I really love it. I had some amazing time with it in the past and hopefully you'll like it too. So let's keep to it 3 minutes. This is all pick. I usually play either captain's mode or the all pick mode. So let's introduce the radiant side. So we have Sia on Luna with uh, wind pace so on Trend Protector. They're gonna be dueling bottom, this is a good combo. Trend Protector with his uh, living armor provides reliability for them. Uh, Amor, you the see? Begins. Amor, you see? On the Alchemist uh, going mid. Kaklev on the Clockwork. The top and we'll see Nagasaki going bottom as well and she has curse of the sun because apparently this game is bugged I don't know why so he did pop the ward here and let's introduce the dire side uh, embrace eternity on troll warlord smacken on disruptor mid lane is going to be lifestealer versus alchemist with noob move and on bottom lane me Versus uh, their try lane, which is uh, kind of hard because we have the Ninja's Prophet solo, uh, I mean, jungle. So I'm kind of on the hard lane, and this is going to be a really, really tough for me. They have the nuking capabilities, and I might actually feed, but as you can see, I did land some nice uh, curses to drain their mana, but. Too bad the moment uh, the Nago Siren catches me, I'm dead, I think. And this is not how you should play on the offline, you shouldn't be this aggressive. I'm trying to snap as much XP as I can. Denied. I love playing on the offline, but it's also the hardest line to play if you're facing tri lane. Has been slain. Where did that Radiant Courier die? Oh, on the... Okay. He did deliver the ball, but they <laughs> lost the courier, which is really good for us. I cannot um, ward, and as you can see, I did pl place the wards here. Hopefully, I will ward now here to prevent them from pulling anyone. I should have stayed here to leech on the experience a bit, not too well. But these are mistakes that uh, I learn al also when I'm doing this, so that's something. And I'm way, way far ahead. This is not how you should play. This is way too aggressive for Silencer, which has no uh, escape mechanisms. This Raptor is doing his job, they didn't ward our jungle, so that's good. This is kind of hard lane for the troll warlord. He can't really last hit with the range attacks sometimes. First blood. And as you can see, Alchemist did do a first blood they on the life stealer, and that's because of the damage, the double damage from. Yeah, he hit first blood. And he got living armor. First blood. So that basically explosive start. Gave, gave him the edge. The edge. And I missed that curse. And now, in fact, Clockwork dying on the top lane. Let's see how that happened. So he caught the disruptor. No, and he did kill the disruptor, but he also died, and he's hitting our troll warlord. So not a good trade, honestly, if you really were wanted. Disruptor for the offlane. And now I might actually die. Stun from the Luna and they're gonna catch me. Second level on the ensnare, so that's three second duration and Yeah, that's kinda hard to play. I can't really pass this line. This is like the line that I will die for sure. Kinda well, not, not unfortunate, but a misplay from my part. But yeah, 
I don't want to feed Luna, it's uh, not really good. It's really, really, really bad. And again, Clockwork dying on the top lane and I missed that as well. Again, he caught these. Oh, see, this time he caught Troll Warlord, but Troll Warlord did one. Again. Oh, he was split up. I tried to last hit. Usually I don't go with this build, I go... If you're facing a one on one, you should go this and this. If you're facing a tri lane, you should go well this plus this, not the last word. It's not really effective. He did. He did lose a lot of HP, so at least something. But this costs too much mana, so you usually go either to th this two or this two. Uh, this is uh, really effective when with level 2. Uh, level 3, it's already a waste. Disruptor, from the jungle. Clockwork not doing anything, and. Our life stealer is not doing a good job on the mid lane, I guess. Yeah. Th that's basically agree with Greed going to the works on the Alchemist and. New move is not gonna be able to focus him fast enough. Dyer's middle tower is under Network. attack. Yeah, and last hit, let's check the last hits. Well, he's actually less hitting way way more than the alchemist, but the gold graph is showing otherwise. Probably because of that kill. As you can see, and the tree moved out of the lane. He is trying to help the mid. Uh, Nimble might actually die. No. He still has the interest. And they're again trying to go on me, but they don't have the mana to do anything. And now I realize. So, th th basically, that's the second level of Curse of Venus. It's way, way more powerful. Denied. Ours. And it gives me a lot more maneuver to actually do stuff. To actually get some experience. But I don't have mana and I'm missing some of the last hits. I only have six last hits, which is really, really bad. As you can see. Their clock is doing a better job than me. And but he did, uh, died two times while I died once. I guess. Who died? Three times. Yeah, we, we lost one time Disruptor, one time me, and one time Lifestealer. The only problem is that if Nagasaren comes at me, I'm dead. If they have the comp for this, this, and this, I'm dead. As you can see, I'm bottle crawling. I need that. There we go. Making sure that Luna doesn't have mana. And I did that prematurely, as you will see just in a moment. But yeah, I really can't do anything at the moment. They have enough damage to kill me. That's basically the lunar blessing. That's extra third damage. That's kind of hard to play. Well, it really, it's really a tough lane to go. And Dyer's middle tower is under this alchemist may actually die. There we go. Tower did enough Don't damage to me out of my misery yet. Hellmines completed on the nature's prophet. That's the 8 minute ma Midas. I would guess it's okay. Not that fast, but okay. Missing bottom. What I like about this lineup is this troll giving uh, the speed buff to kill the enemies more effective. Uh, fa a little bit faster, actually. Again, I'm on the top lane and I might die again, actually, because this is a really, really hard lane and. Luna has the King of Aquila. Uh, 
Okay, the moment these two come and she pops the ensnare on me, I'm dead. In time, you can see me mid move on the mid lane. Get me killed. Coming in. But he's actually gonna survive. Really, really bad engagement for him, and he did manage to survive through all that. Like I did try to move on him, and he'll die now. Unchained. She did a really nice job, she popped the urn on him and that gave her a kill. Again, Curse of Awareness doing... No, uh, Curse of the Sun doing the works on the Luna, but she already has enough money. What's the range of this? Radiant Star Tower has fallen. Is under and she's not popping the Reptite. The problem is she has enough mana for this too, and she has enough mana for the ulti. So I pop the ulti in time to stop that Lunar Eclipse, but yeah, she still has the mana for the ulti, so that fucked us up. I did survive, she did earn me, but I did have a bot and tangles to So I'm Dyer's guessing it was worth it to for the pit and stuff like that. Only life still lost his mana for TP. Keep in mind, this is an MMR, so it's kinda hard to play. And the gold graph is on the our side, and basically that's 2k for the. And you can see now, this opening is dying, and we didn't even need to pop the double chance. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, this is basically Midas, uh, we are ahead 1k. Experience wise, 4k, that's really good. Because we have better lane composition with the experience distribution. Man, that's statistical. No, I'm gonna attack a lot faster. The disarm thingy on this last board is really really powerful. It gives you basically the free uh, how it's called I well, I always forget this and uh, this Halbert. Heavens Halbert. I always forget and I'm gonna die. Silence. Clockwork did with a bottom, but they don't know we are rushing because they don't have the ward here. So at least that's something. So that three times already. Kinda unfortunate for me. Because. Really hard lane. Yeah. I'm making excuses that it's really hard lane, but it is. We don't have the escape mechanism, so I'm going to Very dumb. And this chunk might actually run. Uh, this dude actually has a pretty nice skin. Oh, it's a uh, almost full set. Very nice skin. And now we all rotate more. I know that I can't go bot anymore because I, every time I go, I die and I feed Luna more and more. She has three assists, 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 sorry about that. Yeah, now we can move over in the middle, middle and we can just farm the towers. And Luna coming in from behind, I popped the ultimate prevently. And nice play from the Disruptor, really really nice play. And she should die. No, still surviving. She she has haste on yeah, that's the main issue here. If she didn't have the haste one, she would have died. Radiant, um, um, Calculate, nice play for him. Uh, Tear my gun. I do kill him. Place just near him and he will die. Uh, survive. Embrace eternity will die. This is 
bro. He's like one tanky bitch. Yes, really nice play. Again, another kill. So immediately we went for the team fight and we killed them. We have way way more damage and that's by right click damage, not the magical damage. We have way way more magical, uh, you can damage, but just right clicking, as you just saw. And immediately we turn this game around. Golgraph, way way more. And it, it was uh, on our side the whole time, but. Yeah, we might actually die now. Oh, nice play from the Zephyr, but we're poking. And we're giving me the space to keep that down. Too much. And we lose, like... Well, that's 3 plus ages. And we might lose another one. Oh, he's gonna... That's what it might actually die. At least he killed the clock. So we did lose 4 for nothing and... Just before we didn't play anything. In the meantime, Ninja's Prophet doing what he always does and it's split pushing. That son of a bitch. He went for Orchid. I still are going for... I think Shadow Blade. And I'm going for the four step as usual as I do on the Sunset. The Sunset did a really nice move, Baron, so. So, on second, and nice play from Yugi coming from behind. And he might actually kill him. If he glimpses it, there we go. Goes back, and. Kill, I kill, and I kill. Nice crowd from the Nation Prophet. And there we go, another kill. Kakleo will die as well. We have too much EP power, that's just it. I right with the people and that's 100 damage plus the glaze of wisdom. 260 of my intellect damage. Well actually it's 70. So that's basically what uh, 50 more damage, something for 150, and Troll Warlord is hitting for 150, and this dude is hitting for 130. And when this dude pops the battle chance, we hit him faster. And I don't know if he's. Nice play from the. Nice drop. This is the thing I'm like hitting, and I'm like killing everybody. So we did die on bottom lane. Uh, yeah, magic and attack is under attack. No, I can't play. Oh, nice, nice play from the. If you left. Really nice play from Disruptor in this game. I admire your craftsmanship, your durability. And see all that. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, kill. Again, we are staying too long from this one. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. We stayed too long, and that's basically why we died. We thought we could. Uh, Killed those, those racks, but and gold graph. Well, it's still ahead on our side, but it's going back and forth experience wise as well. It's still on our side, but it's like around 10.5k. And the gold graph is well, I would say like 10k now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But yeah, this is what happens when you think you can go for it, but you really can't. And this nation's prophet really knows his job. Let's be more away. And this dude doesn't have nature's guys and 
At least you should get one level in it. It gives you a lot more speed, so you can catch people when you're around the trees. Ten percent speed. Dyer's bottom tower has Would been denied. Run? There we go. See what's gonna die. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I'm not going to play on the chapter, but it is still. Did I interrupt you? Dyer's middle tower has fallen. We did lose the middle tower. And we did lose our I'm bot glad to leave that there. place. But he immediately bought back and now he's gonna try and catch Keklo. I am lost. Another kill. Like the only problem is uh, Naga Siren sleep. It can fuck us up sometimes if they make another uh, nice setup like they did last time. They did a really good job. And this is where the... the nature's guys could come into play. If he immediately nature's guys when the Lester open wounds him. Radiance middle barracks and I have control fallen. Killing those racks. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. We did kill uh, the bottom tower as well so we can... Go on, go. Oh. Too bad we don't have dust. Radiant's top tower is under attack. So that's a bit uh, a little mistake on our side. But he doesn't really have anything. He has 2.7k gold and he didn't buy anything. And they're losing. So this is not how you play Alchemist. I don't know what he was thinking of buying, but they're losing and he doesn't buy anything. That, that's just crap. Uh, at least Luna is going to BKB. And another sleep coming in. Alchemist nowhere near around. He doesn't have the TP. It was uh, two for one. There should be more. I'm trying to run away from the clockwork. And I have successful dodge Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. In the end it was 3 for 1 and the tower, so definitely a win-win for us. I don't know what this dude was thinking uh, this whole game, but he doesn't even have boots. Did he throw the game? I need more. Belgians just killed the <laughs> the clockwork. So how to kill the clockwork when he reaches you? Controlling your team and just to uh, do his ult. Radiant middle barracks have fallen. Radiant top barracks have fallen. And she can't really ulti because she, she has the cooldown on it. But yeah. She's still uh, quite a way, uh, quite a long way from BKB. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And we're now going to Grosh. I am I'm in the base Let's making mech. You. Because I had the money, so why the hell not? I don't usually build this item, I build something else like uh, Shivas or Scythe or Orchid, but have the Orchid. And see how fast it rolls. He has Tannic and BKB, which has 8 charges. Dezo completed on. We have now 2 Dezos. You're gonna see this later completed on the livestream very often, at least not in pro games, at least.
And now we are pushing the bottom lane, and when we do that, it's basically a game over. If we manage to do that, of course, I think it should be close enough. And goal grab, 20k, still in grab, 40k. And it's so. off. Nice play from the Sapper. Silence. Sure that she can cop that ulti. And this is pure right click damage from the silencer is just enormous. I'm doing like 200 damage just from the. Oh, unlucky. We didn't follow him in, we were pussies. No more playing nice. Just in case you thought I was. But uh, I don't want to show the game. So it's uh, nice to have a, a little better weapon. Misplay from Clock and <laughs> nice play from Disruptor. Make him move away. He can't really go on Nagasai, not yet. But with Nuke coming in, I will stab myself and she can go with him. Another play. Be still. I remember, I had the hardest mob, most fucking lane in the world. And that's basically. 19 to 30 kills in less than 30 minutes. So I'm guessing pretty good game. It, it was fun. It was hard. And he forced himself in. That was not kind of my plan. Because now it keeps with me. But I do have the map. It confused me as well as them. Radiance bottom barracks have fallen. Radiance bottom barracks have the Gaia now have mega creeps. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Treat. Logic. Because people are dying fast. Kill. 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 And that's the pure right click damage of the sun. So 131 intelligence and 75% of that is like. Radiant's middle tower has it's actually Radiant's 100 extra, so 260 fallen. damage just from right clicking. Then we should build no more. And hyperstone, just like that. It would be even faster hitting. And basically that's it guys, so what went good, what went wrong for us uh, is this uh, early game, I fed, mm, kind of normal because I, I was facing a really really hard lane, I died three times and then two more times in some, some of the team fights I guess, uh, they kind of didn't have the clock rotating enough he did rotate one time on me on the bottom, and Naga Siren did a good job. Uh, Trent Protector tried to do something, but he didn't really have enough stuns. Alchemist on mid is okay, but he did have some nice time against Lifestealer with uh, Living Armor being protected by the Trent Protector, but it was not enough. Mm, Disruptor, really nice play. Some of those glimpses were really, really good, some of those were not so good, but we still managed to kill the enemy. Uh, I did okay, and not the best silencer you'll see, but okay, considering what lane I had. Lifestealer, good job on the mid, troll, good job on the safe lane, and finally, uh, good TPs and backdooring from the Nature's Prophet, the scum of the earth. And that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you had fun watching this. Uh, until next time, see ya.